From goldfish to golf, from Minecraft to witchcraft, from minimalism to make money online, which is exactly what this channel is about. The real beauty of YouTube is that it's the perfect place to learn about anything and everything and connect with like-minded people. There's probably a channel for almost any niche that you can think of, really. So why does it feel so damn hard to choose one? I feel your pain. I've sat there agonising for weeks over which niche to choose, slowly losing any momentum to actually just get started. I mean, what if you spend ages choosing a niche only to find it's the wrong one, no one's interested, not even you? Well, this video is here to help you. Not only am I going to give you some great tips to choose your niche, I'm also going to tell you which ones are really profitable too. After all, earning from YouTube is one big fat incentive to love your niche. So if you're ready, then buckle up, mute your phone, cut off all distractions. I'm going to make this video value driven and shorter and sweeter than a sausage dog covered in honey. All I ask of you is to watch to the end. Give the like button a little tickle and why not subscribe for more? After all, it doesn't cost you anything and it's a really, really nice thing to do as it helps grow my channel. First up, I'm going to dive right in by giving you a big tip that will help you decide on a niche and ultimately grow your channel fast. The reason I know this is because it's been one of my biggest mistakes over the last 12 months. So let me save you the same pain. A lot of good YouTube channels have their niche dialed in. It's not too narrow where you run out of content ideas and it's not too broad where you talk about everything and become a jack of all trades, master of none. These channels establish a solid reputation and in turn an audience that comes back for more. Those subscribers are more than happy to hit the bell and get notifications for future videos because they know that the next video will probably interest them just like the last one did. And guess what? Increasing subscriber numbers who also run back and click on the latest video as happy as kids in a sweet shop is one of the exact metrics that YouTube looks for in order to grow a channel. Unless you're me, John Davis, YouTube newbie, who hit a viral video this year all about creating a YouTube channel, then followed it up with an ultra specific video about migrating my blogs to another hosting provider. I'm literally the definition of what not to do. But hey, you live and learn, and if you can share these things with others and help them avoid the same mistakes, then that's what I'll do. So my advice would be to find a niche that has two to four key topics that all relate and allow yourself to establish a reputation in that subject. As an example, Daniel Patel's channel is superb for this. He produces high quality content around video editing using software called Filmora, but he also shares his experience and knowledge on YouTube growth and other related topics. In my opinion, it's a great balance of how specific your niche should be. So before we look at whether your niche is profitable, there's another big consideration that we need to ask ourselves when choosing a niche. This is our second point, and it's all about you and your passion for your subject choice. And there are two thoughts here, and you need to think about both and see which works for you. Firstly, many people recommend that you create a YouTube channel based on a passion that you've got, a hobby, a skill, or something that currently exists that you have already proven you're interested in. And the reason why is because to become successful on YouTube, you need to look at it as a long-term thing, and you're going to create a lot of content. So you need a subject that really interests you that you won't get bored of. The flip side to this is that you may prefer to start a YouTube channel on something completely new that doesn't exist in your life already. Maybe choose something that you've always wanted to learn. There's a real contrast to what you do now. The passion for your niche will grow as you learn more, but also often it's best creating content for people who are complete beginners and know nothing about that particular subject. If you were also very recently a complete beginner yourself, then you know exactly what questions need answering and what content to create. The downside to this approach is that you've got to get over that imposter syndrome where you feel like you're not qualified enough. Please remember, you're always one step ahead of someone, so create content for them. They are literally sat there waiting for you to find your voice. So think about whether your chosen niche is something that you're passionate about, but also, is there any profit in that passion? which I'll help you understand in a moment. So by now, you should have a list of niches that have got some potential. And honestly, depending on what you want from YouTube, they could probably all work. But this video is about finding profitable niches as you want to earn money for your efforts. So just before I give you some really profitable niche examples, there's one more thing that you need to do. Let's qualify your niche a little. Take a look and see if there's demand for it as we want to know whether there are people carving out the path for others to follow and that it's not an obscure, dead-end, nowhere-to-go niche. So it's at this point that you probably want to scrub out number three on your list, carving animals out of vegetables. Wait a minute! 
Think about some of the key phrases, subjects, and questions for your niches. Search on YouTube. Are there people creating videos on these topics and do they already have decent views? If you need any help with this, then download vidIQ or TubeBuddy. These are Chrome applications that are very similar. They'll help you get some secret YouTube data that shows the number of searches and popular channels. They can be useful for doing some research. Now, don't worry if it seems really competitive, that's still okay. I mean, you're watching this video, which is in perhaps the most competitive niche there is, make money online. So if I can manage to get your eyes on this video, then you can achieve infinitely more. You need to adopt an abundance mindset. Competition just means that there's excellent demand. So these tips should hopefully have helped you narrow down what niches could work for you. But before we look at how to understand if there's a profit to be made, let me share with you some niches I think are really profitable on YouTube. Maybe one of these is perfect for you. All of them have demand on YouTube, plus they operate in lucrative and competitive markets. What you need to do is decide how narrow that niche should be, as these are still quite high level, but here they are. Number one is investment and personal finance. Productivity and getting things done. Marketing tools for businesses. Social media hacks and education. Freelancing online. E-commerce and home-based businesses. And tech reviews. So they're just a few examples of profitable niches if you're out there and still looking for that little bit of inspiration. Next up, we want to know if your niche is profitable. After all, YouTube is a great platform to earn additional income and there's a few people I know who have gone as far as replacing their jobs completely. Here's how I assess if a niche is profitable. I ask a few questions. Are there many products or services that apply to your niche that would benefit your audience? If so, how much do these products normally cost? And are there several suppliers and brands out there? Does your niche fall into the big three categories of health, wealth and relationships? It's these categories that most of our biggest problems, needs and desires fall under. Now this is a general guide, but let me explain why these questions are important. First, you need to understand how YouTubers make their money. There are several ways, but the two key methods to make money on YouTube are through display advertising and affiliate marketing. I've got videos in the description that focus more in depth on these and how even small channels can earn money through these strategies. But for now, let's keep it high level. If your niche is, for example, all about starting a blog, then there are tons of companies out there that sell web hosting, training courses, software, and so on. They've got big budgets for their advertising and they work in a competitive, established, and lucrative market. Now, brand new YouTubers aren't allowed to choose to run adverts on their videos. They have to qualify first, which can take a while. But for anyone who's reached the point where they can monetize their channel, there'll be lots of advertisers bidding to run adverts on channels like yours. Now, the way advertising works is that you're paid an RPM, which is revenue per mile. In other words, it's an average amount per 1,000 views. Various factors will determine how high this is, such as audience location, watch time, but also your niche. So the average RPM for channels that talk about tech, make money online, real estate, could realistically be about $25 per thousand views, whereas an entertainment channel could be around $2. Which is why that vegetable carving channel probably is a non-starter, because let's be realistic, it's got very few relevant products that would align with any kind of advertising. Now this also applies to affiliate marketing, which unlike running ads, you don't have to qualify your channel for. You can do this from day one. If you don't know what affiliate marketing is, it's a referral process where you apply to promote a product. You're given a special web address that's unique to you. If one of your viewers clicks on that link and then buys the product, you get a commission. It's how I've managed to build up a nice passive income stream through my own channel. The key to it is promoting excellent quality products that people love, and in turn, they build trust in your channel. If done right, everyone wins with affiliate marketing. Using a blogging example again, some hosting providers will pay $50 to $100 for every person that you sign up to their service. So awesome YouTube channels like Create and Go will have links in their description that guide you to resources that contain affiliate links. Once you click that link and sign up, they earn some money. And so they should too for creating awesome and helpful content. It's a way that advertisers can build an army of recruiters who've got super targeted and relevant audiences that fit their products. If you want to learn more about how this works, then check out the free training in the description. This is a series of training lessons by my own coach and mentor who's really inspired and helped me grow my own online business. So I hope there was some value in this video for you. If so, why not subscribe for more as I produce weekly videos to help people get started with legit ways to make money online. None of that fake guru nonsense on this channel. See you next time.